I'd like you to go to bigwinky.com. Once you're there, hit this blog area and look for a post that I'm working on now. Uh, here's the beginning of it. I'm not quite done. It's uh, entitled Cubase and Halley on Sonic SE, not keeping up with program change events. Uh, you'll be able to download this MIDI file. Uh, you can just click on that and it'll start downloading. And as it says here in the blog, it's um, something I put together a long time ago, 16 years ago. And what makes it interesting, it's just four tracks, but uh, the one track is a string of 16th notes with program change messages uh, for every note. Second track is a copy of the first track, but just kind of delayed, I don't know, some number of milliseconds, I forgot. And there's bass and drums after that. Uh, when I rendered it a few years later, after I uh, authored it, I used this soulmiray.com rendering service and uh, sounded like this. I think you get the idea. So that constant changing of uh, uh, patches kind of gives it an interesting effect. Your ear can sort of keep up. And you hear the uh, rendering absolutely keeps up with the uh, uh, program changes. So you can uh, download that thing, import it into Cubase with uh, import MIDI file. Tell it to make a new project and you'll see something like this. You can double click this uh, second track here, or really the first track with any events in it. And here are the 16th notes and down here I've got it set up so that I'm showing program change controller messages here. And indeed, it's a one-for-one -one correspondence with each note and each program change. And the setup here, it's just using the Microsoft Wavetable Synth. And if we listen... Yeah, it's keeping up just fine. And now let's see what this does when we uh, try to achieve the similar effect, but using Halion Sonic SE rather than playing through Microsoft uh, Wavetable Synth. So um, what we need to do um, is create an instrument track. So let's do that first. So project, add track, instrument. We'll pick up um, just any patch for now. The idea is that uh, we want the thing to respond to program change events. So this really doesn't matter what we pick. But uh, just note that we're picking this percussive uh, go go sound. All right, there it is. And I'm going to take that piece there, copy that. Did I get it? Let me make sure I got it. Uh, copy that. Bring it up here. Paste. So now I've achieved an instrument track uh, that uses now Halley and Sonic. Everything else is muted. Let's see what it does. Yeah. So first thing we see right off, it's not responding to any program change events. Now this we know why just after uh, reading a little bit of the manual on Halley on Sonic SE, we go into here and then options. So again, if you didn't see how I got there, there's this little kind of script lowercase e switch between editor and player. Click that, you get into this editor thing and then pick options. And um, what you see here is there's this thing called general MIDI mode. And uh, it will not respond to program change events if this is not enabled. So we will enable that. 
uh, meaning I'm switching to GM mode. So here we go. We will switch to GM mode. Now we can immediately try it out and see what, see what we get here. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm noticing it's um, pretty non-deterministic uh, exactly what um, we hear. So now the question is, what is going on? Um, put that away for now. So here's our key editor. And one thought I'm having is that these program change events are occurring coincident with the node on. So you'll notice see, it's right at the same time. So my question is, what if um, I were to slide all these program changes a little bit earlier, you know, like give the thing some time to process? Would that work? All right, so um, let's do exactly that. Move this one over a little bit. And then this one. to notice is make sure you have uh, snap to grid turned off or you're gonna get really frustrated because in this case I do not want to snap to grid at least the way I have the grid set up I suppose if I were clever I could set up a grid to do exactly what I want all right let's give this a try see what it does doesn't really work. 